Welcome to today's vlog. Today I've got something extra special for you guys. You guys have been requesting a review of the new Dyson blow dryer. So I got one. I ordered it from Sephora.com. Yes, I paid for it with my own money. Yes, Dyson is supposed to be sending me one. They haven't sent it yet and I don't want to wait any longer. I have no patience, but that's to your benefit. So I purchased one from Sephora.com. So here is the blow dryer. I'm really excited to go over this. Let's get it open and show you guys what it's all about. So inside the box, you have everything that you need. Everything is nice and organized. You have the blow dryer. You have two different nozzles, one for smoothing hair, which you can see is nice and skinny. And then you have one that's just a concentrator that's a little bit thicker. So it concentrates the air, blows it in one direction. This actually gives a more tight stream of air, so it's gonna pass over the cuticle and smooth it out even more. Then you have a diffuser, which I love when a blow dryer comes with a diffuser. It doesn't make any sense when they don't. A few things that I wanna compare with this blow dryer, my worries with this blow dryer, since I've never used it before, is one, um, the airflow. Obviously, um, when it's coming through a nozzle that looks like this, um, you get a little nervous of how fast the air is gonna come out, but hopefully they did a good job on that, I would think. Also, the lightweight test, it's, it's a very lightweight weight blow dryer the handle is where the weight is so it doesn't feel like you're holding anything from this point down to here then you feel all the weight here but it's not heavy at all so the balance is really nice um, so let's get this thing out of the box and take a look all right so initially getting the blow dryer out of the box a couple cool things this is actually was a little confused at first but it's a mat to set the blow dryer on in your bathroom or wherever you're working. So it's probably a heat protectant pad for the blow dryer to go on. Now, the only thing that concerns me is does this get super hot that you need to put that down on a mat? We'll have to see. The cord seems pretty long. So I'm, I'm excited about that. The only thing I'm not excited about is this part here, this really fat thing. Um, the good thing is it's close to the plug, so I don't think it's just gonna hang on to the floor. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't cause extra weight in the handle because that little box is, is a tad bit heavy. This is a pretty long cord. Very impressed with the length of the cord. I actually saw some reviews online, people complaining about the length of the cord. So far it seems pretty long, um, but we'll test that when we get it behind the chair. Connectors, this stuff snaps Okay, my other favorite part about this blow dryer has now become the fact that these are magnetic snap-on. So normally you have to clamp them onto the blow dryer and that gets weak over time or uh, and then your things start to fall off. So that magnetic, it's really smooth on the rotation. So that alone is already a huge plus, um, being able to easily um, switch this stuff back and forth. Um, let me get another blow dryer just to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So I wanna show you guys my favorite blow dryer and we're gonna do a little bit of side-by-side -side comparison. This is the Ergo Twin Turbo 2000. Um, thing I love about this blow dryer is that um, it's got so much power as a professional. It's small, it, it's not super lightweight. This is definitely uh, a little bit of a lighter blow dryer. They feel the same heaviness, but the heaviness is down here, like I said. This is more top heavy, um, but for the most part, they're about the same weight. But this thing packs a powerful punch, gets the hair blown dry really fast. Also, um, the cord is super long on this blow dryer. I'm gonna do a cord comparison with these two in a second. But um, what I was talking about is the nozzles. So the nozzle on this is magnetic. I really love that feature. Um, this is not magnetic. Um, it does tend to um, snap on pretty easy, but the challenge is when you go to put on the diffuser, diffuser works really well, but it's just a weird, it's kind of a snapping motion. It's a snapping motion. So. I just like this magnetic feel. I, I don't know, it's not that much harder to obviously do it, but it's just a smoother transition. Um, no effort whatsoever. So if you're doing your hair at home or even in the salon, what a quick change of any of these tools uh, and such a smooth transition. So definitely a big feature that I love on that. So let's do a cord comparison because I think that's another worry for people. So I wanna see how this lines up because I've never had any trouble with the length of the cord on this blow dryer, uh, the Ergo blow dryer. So let's check it out here. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. 
Okay, that looks pretty close, so let's see. Okay, so this blow dryer is literally a blow dryer longer than the other one. Okay, so the cord is pretty much the same length. It was about this much shorter than the other one. So I don't really find that to be that big of a deal. Um, so I'm not really worried about the cord length at this point. I always have plenty of length with the Ergo blow dryer. So um, I don't see any challenges happening in the future. So another thing I saw somebody complain about online was the thickness of the cord. I don't find that to be a big deal either. Every professional blow dryer I've ever used um, pretty much has a thick cord. This cord's not that thick. Um, it also goes to show that it's quality, which it should be quality for the amount of money that you pay for the Dyson blow dryer. The other thing that I really love and noticed about this blow dryer, it's nice and smooth, obviously nice polished white finish. And then the handle has a nice little grit to it. It's not too much like where it's gonna hurt your hand after using it for a half an hour or so, but it's got a grip to it. So if you have product on your hands, you're not gonna have a challenge. With that being said, let's see what this does. All right, and then you can clean out the filter. So all in all with this blow dryer so far, I'm very impressed with it. Um, I could see myself using this behind the chair uh, all the time. So let's check the performance of it. It's obviously past the test of the quality and the feel of the blow dryer. So now let's see how well it works. Let's get started. Okay, so it is very rare that I get this excited about a tool, but just turning this thing on is like a, it's turning on like a, a sports car. And it's really, and it's really powerful. So I am like just psyched on this. I don't get excited about tools that often. I got this excited about uh, my first pair of Mizutani scissors and this blow dryer is very exciting. So I wanna share with you guys first the products that I use to prep the hair. I use Super Silk Pure Indulgence Shampoo and Conditioner just for a daily shampoo and condition. And then also the leave-in treatment from Super Silk just to you know give the hair a nice slip, but I did not wanna put styling product in there because I want you guys to see the real finish. Now you'll see that I just swapped out the nozzles. The, there's one nozzle that's a styling concentrator. It's a little bit wider. That's what I'm using right now. It gives a little bit more airflow over the hair, but still points it in the right direction. And then there's a smoothing nozzle that I'll use a little bit later to help really polish down the cuticle. So I like to start off using the styling concentrator because that's gonna give me more airflow over the hair and start to dry the hair faster. Then when I wanna smooth the hair out, then I'll go to the smoothing nozzle um, to help me with that. So I got many questions from our at Free Salon Education Instagram page. So I wanna go through and just try to answer those real quick as we're going through this blow dry. So the first question is, I've heard it's really rough and drying on blondes. So I'd like feedback on that, please. I don't believe that this blow dryer would be drying on blondes whatsoever. Uh, one of the cool features about this blow dryer is that it has a glass bead thermal sensor, which basically checks the temperature that's coming out of the blow dryer 20 times per second to make sure that it's a consistent temperature. Um, so I really don't think that this is a much less damaging blow dryer than it would be damaging. Is it worth the price and does it perform and is it lightweight? Yes, it's definitely lightweight, it performs, and it's totally worth the price. Does it leave the hair feeling smooth and less frizzy? It definitely left the hair feeling very polished, very shiny, and there was no frizz whatsoever. With that being said, I do believe that that comes a lot with blow dry technique and not necessarily so much a blow dryer. So is this considered a ceramic dryer? Does it produce negative and positive ions? It definitely produces negative ions, so that's going to help speed up your drying time and smooth the cuticle down. Last question, I'm usually a nozzle holder when blow drying behind the chair. Is it still possible with the Dyson or would I have to switch to a standard handle grip? How's the balance? So I'm a nozzle holder usually as well, but I find that this blow dryer, because the nozzle is so short and the handle is so long, it feels very comfortable and almost feels like you're holding it by the nozzle. So um, I hope that 
those answers to all those questions helped you guys, uh, let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, so like always, if you like this video, then hit the like button, subscribe to our channel below, also share this video with all of your friends. Obviously, based on this video, I love this blow dryer. The only two things that would maybe change about it, if I could, would be the cool button. I wish the cool button, when you pushed it, just stayed cool. Um, unfortunately, you have to hold the button down to keep it cool, which is kind of uncomfortable. Um, maybe not when you're blow drying your own hair, but uh, as I'm trying to work over top of somebody else's hair, keeping that button held down is kind of a, you know, uh, so if you like using the cool button, that's a little bit of an issue, but not really. Um, I'm sure I'll get used to it throughout using this blow dryer. Also, the other thing that I would change is maybe add one more foot to the cord. It's not that it's too short, it just could be longer. Other than that, I would not change a thing about this blow dryer. The technology is smart. It's got tons of power. It's nice and hot. This barrel did not get too hot. Um, I was worried about that in the initial because of the, the heat mat, but I think the mat's just for gripping and keeping it on your countertop. I don't think it has to do really with the heat. Um, so overall impressions of this blow dryer. I love the blow dryer. I think it's totally worth the price. I'm also somebody that loves new technology and I think Dyson has hit a home run with this product. And also, as you can see, I've always had pretty cool blow dryers in the song. We had the freestyle systems. Um, I think that this is that next cool thing. I think that it's gonna draw clients in. Clients have already been interested in it, just that we had the box here at the salon. So the $399 investment to me is totally worth it. Um, it this is my career, this is what I do. If you're doing your hair at home uh, and you want a really high quality product, this is definitely uh, worth every penny um, compared to the other blow dryers on the market. There's a lot of great blow dryers out there. I'm not saying that this blow dries hair better, but the comfort, um, the just the quality of it, I think it's totally worth the extra couple hundred bucks that you're gonna pay. So I uh, hope you guys like this. Let me know in the comments below if you're looking forward to getting one of these. If you've used it and you've had challenges, let us know below. If you've used it and you loved it, let us know below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.